Boo, mm -hmm. I'm a Reginald and Hilda. I never believed that three of like a group of three can walk. No, never. it can't. I I love love them. What Bo did is something I can't do. Mm. As we were single before, as I don't get man, as I don't get belly, as I'm paying for tuition, as I'm what again, looking for names for children, you cannot relate to it. <laughs> what is the tuition for Pampa's <laughs> primary school? Tell me the, the fee. Oh yeah. But when I cross that bridge, I guess I will. That's something I could ask another married woman and she would tell me. Responsibilities for a married woman is definitely different from a single lady. Mm. At 12 a.m., if I feel like going to the club to drink tequila, I can't call my married friend because she has responsibilities. She got to think about, okay, if I go out now, who's going to feed my baby in the next... It was said that um, Bo was the one that introduced both of them to, mm -hmm. like, you know, the limelight. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Do you, feel, do you feel that they used her? I don't be wanting drama. Drama just be coming to me. Hey guys, my name is Talani Baj, aka T Baj, and I'm here to share my funny takes. Catch crews, whether you like it or not, life is never that deep. Today we are chilling with Mo Abebe, who is my co-host, but I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi guys, yes, as she said, my name is Mo Abebe, also known as the goddess. This is episode two. Episode two, baby. I cannot believe we've we've done it. We have. Yes. And thank you guys so much for the love and support. The mm -hmm. love was crazy crazy all the love you showed us in episode one yeah we killed it we killed it we you know what it. we're gonna take this shot mm. okay cheers cheers to episode two yes mm. Mm. <sighs> Woo. so mo what you do this weekend mm, to be honest i'm literally preparing to be on this um tv series okay so i've been reading my script mm -hmm. um i did go out for dinner Ooh. With someone. Okay. Look, yeah, no. Keisha, I went on a date too. Oh, yeah. How were you able to go on a date? Still go to Big Brother party. I did like, like to. This yo. is a, the life chose me, the life of a celebrity. Mm, and it, it really does suit you, it, girl. It, it was a lot. Thank you. It was a lot, but I'm able to find a balance. And you were still able to get some love in there. Period. But I met someone special. Okay. You know, um, I don't know where it's going to go, Shaq, because me, honestly, I'm tired of the streets. <laughs> I, I really hope that that date that I went on is my last date. It's your last date, your last bus stop. My last bus stop. I'm hoping that that is the love of my life. But you know what they say, can you really find love in Lagos? Well, I got to hope. Think positively, you know, you got to attract positive things. Because mm. I understand completely what you mean about, can you really find love in Lagos? Mm. But now I'm hoping that this or that was my last bus stop because I'm not, I'm, that day. I really, really hope this for you. Ah, thank you. Baby. I really do. But the date was sweet. It was sweet. Yeah. And the party to the Big Brother party too was a vibe. If you guys haven't seen my recap on YouTube, check me out. Tell anybody on YouTube. The vlog is always is always is thank you so i feel like now is a perfect time for us to kick start Ooh. the topic for episode two what is the topic again you know i was talking about how yeah you can't find love in lagos mm. can you even find friendship in lagos <sighs> chill i mean there's some good people shall let's not knock you know the good people out there mm. but friendship is it's a lot because clearly i'm low maintenance i don't really expect too much from people See, but that's the difference with me. before we jump right into that please introduce the topic for us so the topic is a friendship theft and as Tony said she's low maintenance. low maintenance i'm high maintenance when it comes to friendship and yes we're gonna delve into all of that mm -hmm. when we come back okay hey guys welcome back to our podcast i'm here with my co-host mo abebe so like we did say the topic is friendship theft so Mo, what would you consider friendship? Hmm. Well, me personally, I would say a mm -hmm. friend is someone that, you know, I can definitely tell most of my secrets, not all, because at least like 10%, or at least 15 needs okay. to be like in here. <laughs> That's what my mom would say. <laughs> uh -huh. There needs to be something that I can just store for myself. Yeah. Um, so yeah, someone I can, you know, like share all my secrets, mm -hmm. share share life with in a sense. It's, it's, it's quite interesting how when we talk about friendship, especially with girls, mm -hmm. we are more inclined to talk about like re more romantic relationships mm -hmm. as opposed to actual like, you know, Real friendships, life, yeah. like, you know, with your girl. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, someone I can definitely share my life with mm -hmm. in that friendship sphere. Okay. Um, someone I can share secrets with. Mm -hmm. um, someone who knows me inside out. Okay. And someone who I personally feel will not judge me. Okay. A lot of people would say, oh yeah, um, 
someone they went to high school with mm-hmm. is their friend yeah. or someone they went to or they met at some party or parties or is even just friend. industry friends yeah. you know mm-hmm. um, I don't really have friends in the industry do you? Um, you know what before before you know what before Big Brother right let me, let me start from 2020 before I got on Big Brother right mm. I was really quick to call a lot of people friends, friends mm. right so I get on Big Brother show really hoping that, okay, you know, I know this person, I knew, knew that person. Mm-hmm. And they will support me while I'm in the house, mm-hmm. right? Only for me to come out and then my handler is telling me like, all these people that you called friends did not support you in the house. So I'm now thinking like, I really placed them up there, up there. thinking that we had something solid, but mm. it was nothing. So I came out and I had to re-strategize like, you know, just because I know them in the industry does not mean that they are my friends so so is that why you would say you're now low maintenance when it comes to friendships I've always is that been, what that taught you i've always been low maintenance but you know no i like i like i like i like <laughs> i like life experiences made me low maintenance mm. i feel like in college i used to like group friendships mm. right until that showed me shaky it was mm. a lot of envy a lot of who do you think you are to to think you can wear that mm. you get so after i outgrew that friendship I realized that I actually liked being friends with like one or two people, you know, at the same time. And I also don't like my friends knowing each other. Mm. I want to hang with you and do something completely different from who I'm going to call and gist with. Mm. So I have party friends. I have friends that can tell my secrets. Mm. But my mom always reminds me all the time, don't tell people everything about you. Everything about you. So as we're talking about friendship, right? Mm -hmm. I want to define who I think a friend is mm. or what friendship is to me mm-hmm. because no man no man I don't really um, require too much from a friend mm-hmm. so friendship to me is literally someone that's always there someone that I can call and like vent to like oh this is what I'm going through and the person can make me feel good about better. myself mm-hmm. or better so I am very low maintenance I don't really require much from people mm. hence why you know if I'm not there for someone they can't really be upset because if you're not there for me I can't be upset it's like if I call you and I need something, you're like, okay, you know, T-Badge, what's up? I'm good. What do you need? I got it for you. And that's how I show up for people. Mm-hmm. If you come and invite me for events, I might not show up because I'm a homebody. But because you know that ah, T-Badge is not going to come for my event, but she, but I know that, you know, if I need her, like, financially, mm-hmm. she can support me. Mm-hmm. I'm very good with supporting oh, people. I'm very friend. good. <laughs> I'm very good <laughs> with supporting people financially. Mm-hmm. Like, if I know that I'm going to meet miss your event, I'd rather send you money. Like, okay, you know. Why did you send me money for those events that you didn't come for? Which one did I not come for? Ah, like four of my events. But no, no, no. I came for that. Your first one, though, where you launched. How your, many years ago? Like two years ago. Last ah, year. So for two years. <laughs> well, sorry, my dear. But now, are we not just developing a, like, Yes, solid now friendship? we are developing this solid friendship. Now, so where right. I placed you before is different, too. Oh. Now, yeah, before you were like, here, yeah, right? Ah, I feel now special. Like, yeah. Wow. I feel now so like, special. Yeah. Because, like, you know. Eventually, we'll get there. Yes, of course. But, like, I have different categories of friends. Like, mm. friendship. Like, friends that I'll put, like, in turn up. Mm-hmm. Friends that I'll put, like, if I need you financially, you're mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. If I need you to go clubbing, you're there. Mm-hmm. If I need you to give me business advice, you're mm-hmm. there. So, like, they're different categories. I agree. Get, so. I agree. that That is really, really needed. I feel like yeah. that's kind of a difference with, you know, y- you and I. Okay. For me... I don't have many friends. So the mm. few I have, they okay. are all these things. Okay. You know what I mean? They mm. are the ones that I would, if, oh, I'm broke. Hey, help me out. They're the, you know what I mean? Like, Hello. they're the ones that I would ask for advice. Yeah. They're the ones I would vent to. Mm-hmm. So I have, like, I can count my friends mm-hmm. on my palm, on Lucky, my fingers. I, I so, don't have plenty of friends like that, you know. I feel like that's the best way to go. Like, for me, I have, like, how many? Maybe, like, four solid ones. And, like, these people are not mm-hmm. going anywhere because mm-hmm. of how far we've come. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I don't I don't believe in having too many too friends. Too many friends. I don't believe in that. No. All right. Yeah. Now, you know, it's quite interesting that when, when we talk about friends, mm-hmm. um, it seems to be quite different when we have group of friends that are girls. Yes. And Ooh. group of friends that are all boys. You know? I'm such a girl's boy. What do they call it? So, you're, boy, so you're, always, you're always the girl in the boy group yeah okay like they are so low maintenance they don't really require much mm. when when they need you for advice the one thing about me is i'm good at giving advice to like my guy friends mm. if they have any issues in their relationship they'll come here telling this is what my baby saying you know how far mm. can you do you get and i'm the one giving them advice like, you know what you this is where you fucked up oh, mm. so do better there so i'm that cool babe cool helping. you're the you're, you're a guy's girl i am a guy's girl that's mm. what i'm trying to say a guy's girl i so will yeah. i will say that i am the same but okay. i i can also be a girl's girl if the girl 
or the girls uh-huh. are willing to not be threatened by me. Ooh, and pff, that's not easy to come by. You. And it's really it's not. It's really not. It's especially in this Lagos. In this like Lagos. everybody just wants to compete with yes. you. Yes. And I think that's why I'm comfortable being in my own space, not really having a lot of people in my space because I'm, I'm you know when I step out I'm going out alone. Nobody is coming to say oh, why did why does she do why does she look like that? Why is she doing mm-hmm, too much? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm going out alone. I'm stepping out alone. Mm-hmm. I'm making a statement alone. If you feel threatened, that's on you. That's but on like, you. Yeah, just be nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, like as as I was saying, with you know how you have different girl groups, yeah, uh, girl, um, group of girlfriends, group yeah. of guy friends. Uh-huh. I have come up with this mathematics. Uh-huh. Like, if you're in a group with girls, okay. make sure it's an even number. Mm, okay. Whenever you have friends that are in threes, fives, sevens, nines, threes don't even work. Wh- why are you friends with nine? Three people? is a crowd. First of all, <laughs> three is a crowd. But come on, why are you friends with nine people? Uh, there are people. There nine are people. girls. There are people. Come on now. There are actually people. These are probably girls in high school. Or maybe college, first, second years. Life has oh, not shown them. Oh, some people who maybe were friends from high school and college, but 20 they friends have been able to. cannot play no, for 20 can't. years. You're right. To be honest. 20 friends cannot play for 20 to years. To be very honest. So even if you're saying yeah, nine from high school, from college, they'll start dropping mm. one by one. Mm. You get, mm. based on major, this one is in science class, this one is in art class, you get, they'll start dropping from there. You True. So, True. Yeah. So have you ever been in a friendship group where you felt huh. that you were left out? No. Or someone stole your friend. No, I can't relate to that. Mm. Because if I sense that, I'm already cutting you off. That's my, I feel like it's a toxic trait for me mm. because I will give you one or two warnings, right? But because of how playful I am, people don't really take me serious. They're like, ah, you know, she plays so much. She's always happy, Jerry, because she won me once. Is it like, but when I cut them off, it's like they never really knew me. They're like, ah, I didn't know that she could vex like this. So mm. if I sense that I'm being left out in a group, I don't you just cut everyone off. I'll cut everyone off. Like, everyone. Okay, this is how you guys want to move. So like, there's yeah, not even just off. one person that you would just still just, oh, yeah, I really, really like you. So I, I stick around with you. I consider it if you come back and ask me why I'm being distant to, because mm. I feel like I'm really good at being distant. If mm. I sense like my energy is no longer wanted here, I would just vamos. And just leave. But if you come back and ask me, like, oh, okay, ah, Tiba, what's, what's wrong? Why are you being this? Like, can I explain and mm. be vulnerable? But one thing about me, I don't like being vulnerable. Though. Mm. But for me to be vulnerable is because I care about you. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. So, Mo, mm. I want to ask it's you about. Soul. Hey, I want to <laughs> ask you about trio friendships, right? Because mm. I know that you were, I don't know if you are still in one, no. But there was a time that you were hanging with, like, you know, two babes that mm. you guys were like besties. Yeah. And then I just noticed that you guys stopped posting each other. Yeah. And in my head, I'm like, me, I'm a detective. No man, no man. Mm. I'm like, ah, it's like, these, these people are not friends. Anymore. I don't know what my business badge. was, but <laughs> I always notice things. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, these two other babes are still posting each other. They are still friends. Mm-hmm. So maybe Mo is out of the equation. Yes. Am I correct? That was, in a sense the case okay i know i was going crazy i said <laughs> they're no longer friends what did they yeah, stop for yeah well to Tell be honest us. funny enough now me and one of the other girls okay. are friends we're back to being friends okay but now that other girl is no longer friends with me Ooh. but she's still friends with her okay so this is even back to what i was saying about you know girls being in trios okay i you know how they say three musketeers is a lie you, you know, know they walk at I don't believe it works either. Most especially if uh-huh. it's a situation uh-huh. where the maybe there's one amongst the three friends, there's one that introduced every the other two. Yes. <laughs> so it's either that one that introduced the other two gets mm-hmm. left out mm-hmm. because those other two now find form a new friendship, friendship. Uh-huh. and leave that person. They now become out. closer, and you're just confused. I, I might not the one I introduced. I, I might not the one I introduced. Which mm-hmm. do you? Which do you call? There's that situation, which yeah. wasn't actually my situation. My situation okay. was that um, the 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 friend who introduced the two of us. Okay. Um, when the whole battle mm-hmm. happened okay 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 <laughs> um the the new friend new friend obviously went with the old friend my, like the one who introduced one. us so okay. i was the one who was left out oh shit 
Yeah. So oh. unfortunately, I was bow hair, bow's hair in you know the situation. Not you name dropping. I I don't, I don't mean to name drop, but but, but 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 that but that whole scenario was very relatable. Is actually so relatable. relatable. Okay. As soon as I saw it, I was like, it is because you girls are in a group of, of three. three. I agree. I never believe that three of, like a group of three can walk. No, never. it can't. Like someone will definitely feel left, left out. out. Yeah. Um, I feel like the only way it can maybe possibly work is mm-hmm. if maybe they were friends since like childhood. High school or high school. High school could even still work. Mm, yeah. Yeah. But even if they were friends in university, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Either. Because, you know, life happens and things change. Somebody uh-huh. will get married. Yeah. Someone, someone, that person someone will, baby. will say that they want to be single. One yeah. person will say that no, they want to be baby mama. Uh-huh. Like, the, you know, the whole dynamic just changes. It changes, yeah. And I feel like that was the situation with, you know, Bo, mm-hmm. um, Amma Reginald, and also Hilda. So would you say that you agree with Bo coming online to share their dirty linen? To be honest, see, eh, now she wear the wear the shoe. She, now she wear no way they pin them. How she, how she they feel? So uh, to be honest, like it, it, it's not necessarily a mm-hmm. good thing, you know. Okay. I've also fallen victim to that sort of thing. Okay. So that's why I cannot necessarily say you shouldn't have done that, boo. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. But you know, um, sometimes your emotions get the best of Facts. you, and. Facts. Uh, like as the topic says mm-hmm. friendship theft yeah. it's still theft you it's feel like theft. someone's taking something from yeah. you so you feel like you want to explain and mm-hmm. then also i i do gather that you know there was a whole lot of mix up a lot of people thought that yes the whole thing happened mm-hmm. because of a man mm. you know so she wanted to come out and be like it has nothing to even do the with man, man. Who, yes. this is what it has to do okay. with so i feel like <sighs> It was definitely something that a lot of people can relate mm-hmm. to. Me, I feel like if I had you as a friend mm-hmm. and you come online to share that, we can never be friends again. I don't think she wanted to be friends with them again. And that's ah. another thing I always say. When 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 someone uh-huh. comes out and mm-hmm. calls out a friend yeah. online, because uh-huh. as I said, I've done it before. Yeah. When I did it, uh-huh. I didn't want to be friends with that person anymore. Ooh. Like but I wasn't I wasn't doing it so that we can now reconcile. Mm-hmm. No. Based on what I got from that video, it seems like she still wants she still has room for Hilda. That's what it seems like. Like she's really mad at Ama, even though we've mm. not heard from either, you know, Hilda's well, side or well, Ama's that is side. Possible. But she kept on saying, I love Hilda. I mm, loved her. I did that. True. She wasn't really speaking anything really too positive about Ama. Ama. It was Ama. more so I brought both of them together and they kicked me out. Well, maybe she, in all honesty, which is also very possible because mm-hmm. like now in my own um, trio breakup, okay. there was one there was one person that, yes, outrightly I was more upset with. Okay. and the other okay and, and was it the one that introduced you guys together or no it okay. was the the, the introduced yeah the third at. wheel okay third wheel ooh, 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 ooh. mo do you want the smoke yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it was it was it was the third wheel that okay. you know i was more upset, upset with so okay. i i can understand why she would also have that narrative mm-hmm. you know maybe she is willing to you know mend things with hilda okay um but she is in a sense more upset with Emma. and that could be yeah. because mm-hmm. she probably feels like she even did more for Emma. Mm. okay compared to oh yeah with that hilda. house remember uh, that they said bo bought house yes. for Emma. i don't forget that at least hilda i had, truly believe that hilda like, had her, her, her cooking business running already i didn't even know about that but i don't know if Emma had things popping for her uh-huh. okay. already okay so maybe that's why she's more upset uh-huh. and it was it was said that um bo was the one that introduced both of them to mm-hmm. like you know the limelight mm-hmm. lifestyle whatnot mm-hmm. crazy do you feel do you feel that they used her hmm Oh well, that's tough. Oh. I wouldn't, you know, when when Bo explained how she felt, right? Mm. So, <laughs> as much as I want to say that, in fact, I'm even saying it. Mm. I don't feel like they used her. Mm. But if I sit down and think about it, it seems like they used her. Yes, they did, girl. But sometimes God places people in your life to just set you straight on a path. Yeah, but sometimes some people would say that they are not God. You're right, but I always believe say God would send some people to say go this way or connect me to somebody and that is it. Okay, but all in all, in this argument that yeah. you just um or this point that you've just made, mm-hmm. that still goes to show that Bo is a what? An important part of both of their Of course, stories. she will always be so a she part of their, that respect. True, the respect should always be there, but you're talking about a married woman and single ladies. 
responsibilities for a married woman is definitely different from a single lady mm. at 12 a.m if i feel like going to the club to drink tequila i can't call my married friend because she has responsibility she got to think about okay if i go out now who's going to feed my baby in the next 30 minutes who is going to fulfill my husband's needs at you know a certain period of time so i'd rather just call my friend who is free single and has no responsibility it doesn't mean that i don't care about my friend it just means that i understand that we're on like different wavelengths in life okay i i do yeah. agree with you but you know this trail of thought mm -hmm. i've noticed tends to be mostly with nigerian women okay abroad mm -hmm. i like even while i was in uni i had friends that were you know married did they have kids maybe baby mama okay. I had like a baby mama friend but they're not but telling we you all friends but like they're we not good they're not telling you how much they're spending for nanny do you understand nannies are really expensive you got a factory if i go out to the club tonight is my nanny available you gotta even consider your nanny's time sheets or be time schedule if she's available to, to watch your child i agree but i just still feel that why do we feel that because you know, like when we're talking about what I think a friend is, I said okay. someone I can share my life with. Why okay. do we feel that? Because certain things have happened in my life, e.g. getting married, okay. e.g. having babies, mm -hmm. that that has to affect our friendship. It's not going to affect it a lot, but things will change. Wait, Simply because fair. your responsibility is different from what, I'm, you know, my responsibility mm. is. You, you have a man that you're catering to and you have children. Me, I'm just thinking about having a good time and potentially you know finding a husband i'm okay. going on dates i'm free nobody is holding me down okay so i'm not saying that because you've got him married i'm going to discourage you but mm. before you got married and now that you're married the relationship will change a bit i i do agree but should yeah. i tell you if if that is the case mm -hmm. i do believe that in friendships yeah. there should be great communication of course of course and i feel like with hilda bo and amma mm -hmm. clearly the communication wasn't good enough it could have been better. It could have been better. It could have been if better. If they communicated everything the right way, mm -hmm. I don't think they would have been in this situation. Yeah. I think it had to, because that's what she was saying, wasn't yeah. it? Like, you know, but, they would just go off, but not tell Alma her. Alma is young. Let's not forget that this lady is young. Despite the fact that she is successful, she's young and I feel mm -hmm. like she still has a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. Communication, like you did say, mm -hmm. could have been better. Much better. I didn't feel like she needed to come online but it seems like they thought that it was a man that was really just catching the yeah, so, so she wanted to, she had to put the disclaimer which out I understand. there. So even though it was both that ended the friendship that was she never I said, eh? and I can relate to that because I'm the one. I'm quick to say, bye guys, the energy is And off. to be honest, let's not forget Deuces. that she was pregnant. Okay. And as you said, she's a married woman. You Emotions know. are high when you're Every, pregnant. Everything, everything literally I like I I I feel like I could relate to Bo so much because okay. That was how I felt. Okay, you know mm -hmm. it's 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 horrible when you feel left out, especially when you sort of feel like you are quote unquote maybe the foundation of how of how or the of the foundation of the friendship. So thinking about that now, I just remember now. I've actually introduced. I just remember now. And they stole your friend. And they, I wouldn't call it stolen, but it was just a lesson learned. Okay? Mm. Ah, I will never do this again. I remember. Let me not name drop too much because I don't want no drama. But <laughs> I you have, don't want any drama. I don't. I don't, I don't want. No, That's no, very new from. from I don't want bad. No, I don't be wanting drama. Drama just be coming to me. Oh, oh no! Okay, so that's what like it is. Drama. <laughs> when drama comes to me, I can deal with it. But mm. I will not intentionally say, "Oh yeah, drama be coming." Nah. Okay. But I don't want to name drop. But mm. I feel like this is a lesson that could be learned. So I did introduce somebody to another person. Mm. And because I am a low maintenance friend, right? They became closer. Closer. One thing about me is that when you call me and say, ah, let's go for brunch. If you're not giving me like five days heads up, I'm not leaving my house. I love my house so much. So because I had turned down their invitations too many times, they stopped mm. people asking me like, do I want to go for brunch again? So when I would see their snaps, what not, I would feel it would pay me smaller. Like, ah, mm. I might not do what I introduced, but I understood like, now me cause I'm. So I just muted it to save my own mental. Like, okay, I don't want to constantly feel triggered. Mm. So I muted them. And that's what Bo that's did. That's what Bo did. She I, blocked what, them. What Bo did is something I can't do. Mm. If I feel like you guys are really messing with my mental, not that I will block you. And even if I block you, I'll give you a warning. Literally what Bo did, Nami go do it. I will do it. <laughs> so I'm not even faulting her. It's just yeah. that I understand that if you come to social media and tell everybody our dirty linen, 
we will never then we will never be friends again long. And, ah, and that, and that is fair I also sort of commend Hilda and um, Amma for not saying anything mm. you know they're, they are better women than I am because <laughs> so what you would have responded you would have I probably would have, but maybe Ooh. if I didn't, then it, my team is very strong. It would have, it would have got him. <laughs> took my phone. It would have, it would have got him messier. Had yeah, they mistakenly they said LOL. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would have, it would have gone. It would have gone messier. They feed on negativity. So I do, I do, I do like the fact that you know they sort of let it die Bye. down by mm-hmm. not it's um them. commenting. Mm-hmm. But nonetheless, I still feel that Bo had every right to come out okay. and mm-hmm. you know speak her grievances. Like you know, everybody has a right to express how they feel. Yeah. You know, so. That's because she probably doesn't want the friendship anymore. Yeah. yeah. She no she she can't want that friendship mm-hmm. anymore. No. After that. So my dear, as this shot is here, come on, let's take it again. Come on. How you feeling though? Because I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm there already. So at least have you learned that you should not be in a trio friendship? I've been knew that. <laughs> I've been knew that. I walk alone. <laughs> I'm in my house. I don't do trio what? Mm. <laughs> hey. Cheers, baby. <laughs> hmm. So have you ever been in a scenario where Mm. You know, you have a guy friend who is single, right? Okay. And then he tells you about a babe, how he really likes her. Mm-hmm. You encourage him to do right by the babe. Mm-hmm. They enter a relationship mm-hmm. and then they cut you out of the picture. Oh, all the time. You notice that the guy changes and it's the girl that's actually controlling him. The girl yep. that you were saying, ah, this Which is so unfortunate. And that's what kind of pains me when it comes to girl friendships okay. and guy friendships. Mm-hmm. There's, there's, like, there's like this general bromance mm-hmm. um, with guys, yeah. you know? Like now, this whole, like, you know how I said, oh, trio or uh-huh. having five or nine or whatever uh-huh. doesn't work with females. Mm-hmm. Guys! The more the merrier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where's he gonna sign them? Yeah. You know. And then or even just in general, when it even comes to like women feel that once they start dating someone mm-hmm. or they are married, that mm-hmm. they need to, you know, sort of abandon their, their friends. friends. Mm. While well, guys do not do that. I don't think the abandonment is intentional. I just feel like they've outgrown certain situations and circumstances but why does it take a man for you to realize you've outgrown those circumstances because with a man responsibilities change like with a man you can get pregnant Mm. when you are pregnant are you not looking for nannies are you not looking for other married women that you can learn from well maybe not maybe not looking but it's just best to just learn from experiences like ask other married married women with experiences like okay what would you do in certain situations that your single friends cannot relate to if you but are does single, that now mean your single friends on the back no, burner not back burner it's just that it, it sounds bad now that i'm saying it, it, really it sounds is, bad. it's not good but girls don't do it's, it it's not like, men don't do it for no, you you so right you do it for men no but like it changes and it's not intentional it's just like we're not on the same level anymore. <laughs> level? So because we're you're not on with the same a man, level anymore. Stop so wait, saying it like so that. So because you're with a man, babe, I'm on a different know. level with you. It's not come on. That. Stop saying it like that. I'm just saying that as we're single before, as I don't get man, as I don't get belay, as I'm paying for tuition, as I'm what again, looking for names for children, you cannot relate to it. But that still doesn't mean you cannot relate to it. But that's still you cannot relate to naming child. But that's you cannot relate to paying but school fees. Still doesn't mean that I cannot be friends I'm with you. I'm not saying you cannot be friends. I'm just saying that who told you I cannot be a better friend than your married women? No, what you do you know, what do you know, know about paying tuition? Most times, sometimes, sometimes they're in like a WhatsApp group. Hey, who told you that? Sometimes what are chatting about in that WhatsApp group? What do you know? Oh yeah, what like it? What is the tuition? What is the tuition for Pampas Primary School? Tell me the the fee. Oh yeah. But when I cross that bridge, I guess I will. That's something I could ask another married woman and she would tell me. This school is the best. Go there. This school, I went there last semester. No, no, no. Go to this school. She can give me some <sighs> betterments for my life. Legit. Not saying that, that my single fair. friends are not still useful. They just come in at different aspects of my life. Those are my turn up friends. Do you get? So you just so your single friends are only your turn up friends. Turn up maybe advice. I'm basically saying that I, I will place them in different categories. Dig it. As I get married, my single friends cannot really help me as much as I feel like they should. Help you to navigate the marriage? Yes. Not married. Yeah, marriage. Marriage. Children. Most especially marriage and children. Those the other married women can help me there. Single my single friends will come in at different But you can have single friends that are baby mothers. So they could help you with children. True. But they're not married. And even if they're not so the is is they are not married. Thing. So you have to. So once you get married, so basically, totally why are you constantly say? I'm not saying that <laughs> you're the one forcing this thing on me. I don't talk that one. No. I'm saying that 
as a married woman, I can learn from other married women. Which is very, very true. That's all I'm saying. Very, very true. No, be say I go abandon all my single friends. Nala, I know we do that one. I'm just saying that I can learn more from other married women. Okay, but that don't you not think that your single friends will feel a little bit left out? Seeing as now you want to roll with and the that's where girls. communication will come into play. Like, ah, see, Baju, I'm feeling like this. So Good. you went like this when you were not married. Or, I and like I would that. apologize. I'm, I'm very quick to apologize. Do you I get like because like, I could do some things unintentionally. Do you get mm. that could upset them? But if you don't tell me how you feel, how yeah. would I know? Say you yeah. feel some kind mm-hmm. of way. So just talk to me. You okay. know, if you raise me up there, talk to me. Not okay. like you just say, do this, I feel some kind of way because I'm not married, you're treating me like that. Talk to me. Okay. I'll apologize and we'll move on last, that's last. Fair. Yeah. That's fair. Mm-hmm. So, whoa, I have a very, very interesting question, right? Okay. Because I know you say, you say you keep your friends up here, right? So, basically, you The res- ones that are my friends. Drona, wait. So, you respect <laughs> them up there. Okay, mm. now. So, you have a friend now who mm. is maybe stuck at night, maybe mm. around like 10 p.m., right? Okay. And she's stuck in an area that is close to your boyfriend's mm. place. And she's like, hey, Mo, you know, I'm very, I'm close to Agege. Let's call it Agege, right? Mm-hmm. And I know your boyfriend's place is close by. My I just, boyfriend's place I won't be in Agege. Wait. I just, she doesn't like mainland boys, but okay. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> she doesn't like mainland boys. <laughs> but okay. okay. But we're using Agege okay. for now. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm close to Agege now, and I know that your boyfriend's place is close by. I just need a place to stay for the night. You know, by 6 a.m., I will leave. Do you think Bayo will be willing to open his room for me? How would you handle that situation? Hmm. Uh, your good friend, though. Your okay. bestest friend. At this okay. Point. No, well, to be honest, if she is my good friend and my bestest friend, uh-huh. in all honesty, the trust will be there. True. But, but if it is... Do you know, the trust will be there. So what? what's your answer? So yes, I would, I would, I would, I would. You so were very dependent on I the friend. I would never. But if it was a salary bad, I don't think so, Sha. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, what kind of friend do you think I am? I don't know. I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> if it was you. Not you mm-hmm. selling me out because mm-hmm. I'm a bad bitch. No, 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 no. Because no. I'm bad and bougie. No, 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 Is no, that no. Why? You and my man cannot be in the same oh, place together. I'm that, sorry. That's not a good thing, though. No, so why? wait, does that mean because you don't trust your man or you don't trust me? Which one? Hmm. To be honest, I don't trust my Says man. with your chest. Because men, these men, they will stay your whites. So I don't trust my man. <laughs> men are not to be trusted. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you know, now that we even had this conversation, yes. I would like to know what your friendship breakers are. Like, 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 what would you say is a thing that a friend will do that you're just like, you know what, this I'm is. done. So like I did say, I'm very low maintenance, right? Mm. I do feel like if a friend becomes friends with someone I'm not cool with, yes, that's an automatically deuces. Yeah, I don't, don't care what anybody says. I don't care. A friend, um, a friend of my enemy is is my enemy. Is my enemy. Is yes, an that's enemy. It. <laughs> that's it. A friend of my enemy. Yeah, is an enemy. And to be honest, I actually very I I particularly get upset when people say this stuff. You know, mm-hmm. because I feel like. If you know me as a person, okay, that's why most likely you are a close friend to me. So mm-hmm. if you know Moe, a baby, you mm-hmm. will know that, that this is her enemy, hmm. and you will not want to annoy me or piss me off. So why are you guys doing friendship? Why? But one thing I don't understand for myself, for this me person hurt me. Why are you mm-hmm. friends with that person? One thing in particular is that I don't carry people's I don't Fight. carry people's fights, right? Mm. But for me, this is where the you know they to make sense, right? If you do it to me, I'll be very upset, right? But Abby, wait, what am I saying? If you do it to me, if I do it to you, if you do it to me, I'll be I'll be very upset. Mm-hmm. But if I do it to you, I will expect you not to be upset because what I know it does that not make is sense. Double standards, it does girl. Double standard. That's the word. <laughs> I don't carry people's fights, do you? Mm. But I expect you to know that I don't gossip because one thing about me is I don't gossip about. I don't. Mm. When you hang with me, you will know that I, do, I don't really talk too much. So I expect people to understand that way. Tell any. She doesn't talk. Even if she's friends with my enemy, I know that my, my gist will not leak. Mm. So I feel like I need to extend that grace to other people, but I don't trust people. I can only trust myself. Mm. So if you decide to trust me, I know that, okay, Stalani, I know that she won't open her mouth. I, I respect you. Okay. But it's something I know if you accept. Sorry, you... Sorry. And to be honest, you know, in life, sometimes yeah. when it comes to friendships, relationships, we are actually selfish. So I guess yeah. that's your selfish, selfish trait yeah, selfish in that trait. sense. Yeah. For me, I feel like a major, major uh-huh. um, friendship breaker for me would be if you date my ex. Hmm. Why? The Why? ex was there at the beginning of the relationship? 
I don't care if it was at the end. What if she didn't know? She, what if she didn't know that the guy was your ex and she already said? There's no didn't way. Know. If you are my friend, you will not know this man is my ex. That means you're not my friend. Okay, that's because a, because, that's because, because, because we would have just said, well, uh, "This is my guy." So when you ha- you tell your friends everything, not necessarily everything, but if it points to dating, what if it's a new friend? friend? What if it's somebody you met like two years ago? I don't have new friends. No new friends. No new friends. You no believe new friends. in that? Um, <laughs> me, I would like new friends. I know you're my new friend. So that's a Actually, even though I don't really trust people, I like the idea of having new friends. Mm. But I have no, I have trust issues. You and I both, so that's I really why I don't really roll issues. with new friends. But like, I don't know, man. God, guy does. Yo, Sha, don't you, Seth, you don't no don't date my ex. Do I even know your ex? I'm gonna write them down We're, after the show. Listen, I'm gonna write it down. We are called. Don't date any boy called Femi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Let me even think. I don't even know one guy that she has even dated. Okay? But yeah. Let's talk about we, it. After listen, the show. I'm sure. We are calling I'll, I'll, I'll before the this episode ends. <laughs> we are calling each other friends, right? <laughs> but I don't know one person that she has dated. What so, if I've already dated that person? To be honest, someone like you, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. It's someone fine. like me. What is someone like me? No, as well, like you're a new friend. Okay. That's what I mean. No, no. So I'll friends. let it go. But no, no old friend, friend no, Lila, no. you can't date my ex. Okay, cool. I also don't think you should be gossiping what? about me. Yeah, true. Um, anything that I do tell you is between you and I. Yeah. But um, you know your friends have other friends, right? You don't think they can even mistakenly say, oh, my even said this and that. To be honest, it, it happens a lot. Yeah. You know, it does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's, you know, like, I feel like there's also levels to gossiping, you know, you yeah. gossip small, like, mm-hmm. you, you know, like mm-hmm. it, it happens. Yeah. But not the one you go and tell a complete, you know, this person is a chatterbox. You yeah. go and, you know, just tell them all your expose business. my, no, 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 yeah. definitely no. Hmm. Um, also, I don't like somebody that would steal from me. And when I say steal, it doesn't necessarily even mean just taking things Uh per se. What do you mean? Even just like taking my money, like don't mess with my bag. What kind of friends are you dealing with? I'm not saying that as my friend. I'm telling you, it's a friendship breaker. I can never. If it happens, we are no longer friends. Has it ever happened to you? No. Okay, yeah. No, a friend. Actually, no, I lie. It has. A friend has stolen from me. Yeah. Ah, God. I've never, I've never. Well, yeah, the that. person was no longer my friend after that. You gotta cut them off now. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, stealing from me, messing with my bag, taking my man, just taking things that are mine. Mm-hmm. Like why? I also don't like friends that like Ooh, to over borrow. And uh, uh, Mo, I don't understand. What kind of people are you dealing with? <laughs> I cannot relate to all these why things you are saying. Are people that I'm no, dealing with? Why, I'm just, just, why are you saying all these things? Because it's what happens in life. There are some friends that will just borrow, 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 take, take, no. take. I'm use, even the use, one use, giving use, in my use. own friendships. I'm use, not saying we have to take, use, take, use. take, take. And can't, meanwhile, can't they're really not do. giving anything. Hmm. Yeah, I so don't I, like friends like that. And I relate to that. You know, I've, um, there are some friendships that I feel used in some departments mm. because one thing about me, like I said, I'm always there financially. That's where Tolani, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> I and send then you my ass. I'm there to say, <laughs> you know what? I got you. You got me. After this I'm episode, you right now. I, oh God, I'll send you something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at that. Like, okay, here. And that's not always a good thing to always just feel like you can fill a void with money. Mm. But I always think like, you know, if I'm not there, I'll just send them money and they'll be okay. Mm. But it could be. A, do you think that's a toxic trait? I think it. No, I don't want to say toxic. Because I feel like with money, you can just shut people up. Like, but it's a way just of think like not actually being as accountable present as you should. Ac- be. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's almost like how like you know you have like kid or um, women or uh-huh. even boys that have daddy issues, and they'll say, hmm. "Oh yeah, my dad was my dad was there financially, yeah. but he never showed up at any of my school plays or my." Parent teacher meetings. Yeah. So it's kinda like that. I gotta be better. Yeah, so, I yeah. gotta be better with that. Yeah. <laughs> but no, keep the money coming this way. I will send you something. Like, say less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send her something. I'll send her something now, don't worry. But this has really been a really awesome um episode, um, episode right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So would you say that you and I are now friends? We are friends. This is the We're working on our friendship. We are. But you know what? We've done two episodes together, so why would I be sitting here if we're not friends? Abby. Like what? What am I here? What There's am I here for? There's not British Africa that made this friendship come to pass. Well, 
To be fair, Mo, you've been trying to have friendship with me. What do you mean I've been trying? You I have a bit you. I have this girl of DMs. This get it, Chris. Are you mad? Just even remember oh, now. So what? Because I'm because I'm nice. I have DMs. She'll come to Hey babe, what's up? What's up? Hey, but this I'm is my nice fault. Girl. This and this is why. Should I tell you why I actually sent you all those DMs? So I didn't like. She no, did no, no, send no, me no, DMs. What's my own? I'm not a what's yeah. my own. Like okay. I'm I'm a very um, what's it called? Energy person. I felt like even before this happened, yeah. I felt like you and I Connected. had something that we could connect Facts. on. But and then it's now my toxic trait of staying away from people because I don't trust people. Mm. Like she every time we meet, right? It's so sweet. But in my mind I'm just like, I don't trust people. I don't trust people. So you I can trust me, girl. Say, don't worry, I, I don't trust you. Man. Not even about man. It's just like I will steal your money it's, either. It's more so my business. <laughs> because one thing about me is I jabber a lot sometimes. When you're with me, I'm quick to say, ah, this is what I'm dating. You know. Yeah, that's this me too. This is the business plan that I'm too. doing. You know. this, so in my mind, I'm thinking, too. you should be happy for me. But I truly don't know what's on your mind. This is not mm, even anything personal. Yeah. This is just people in general. Just people. Yeah, I get and it. my mom constantly reminds me like, you are successful. You have blessings. Not everybody mm-hmm. will be happy for mm-hmm. you. So protect your blessings. Well, trust me, girl. Yeah. I will be happy for you. I've never really been that type of person. Why is she taking it personal? <gasps> no, 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 no. I'm not even taking it personal. I'm just yeah. saying that I am that friend that okay. wants all my friends to succeed. succeed. Because I personally believe that that's even when friendship breakups happen. Mm-hmm. When there is somebody that feels left out. Okay. Not only just, oh, you're not inviting me to this party. Just growth-wise. But even just growth When you wise. grow, yeah. So I don't want to be around somebody that... It's not growing is not growing you gotta grow so i'm definitely always going to you know be on your side okay. always going to be there for your growth mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i'm not going to try and jeopardize that mm-hmm. and that's not me trying to sell myself as a good friend well that, that, that's good to know madam mm. <laughs> <laughs> good to know <laughs> but yeah this is the start of a really great friendship yes it is we want to say thank you so much for tuning into our podcast like we did say this is episode two mm-hmm. of the bad and bougie podcast yes. continue to stay with us continue to rock with us because we have so many interesting topics to come yeah there we go wait oh yeah for, i can't wait for episode three and yes make sure you follow all the pages bad and bougie Pod. Bougie. Mm-hmm. make sure you also follow glitch africa studios follow them if not for glitch we wouldn't be here we wouldn't be here amazing assessments we will have developed. we will have billboard we didn't tell them about billboard. Ah, have you guys seen a billboard we have billboard snap picture okay Tag us. Like eco healing bridge <laughs> take the picture and I think there's one in vi too tagos there's one in vi I didn't even know that. We be but popping. Yeah, we be popping. Bad and bougie. Bad and bougie, baby. So yeah, take Catch a picture. Catch you guys at the same time. No, no, I was not done talking. Oh, sorry. So sorry, my dear. So you end the episode. I'm but sorry. But guys, once you, once you take a picture, make sure you tag Tolani Badge on Instagram. Tag Moe, a baby as well. If you can also tag Glitch Africa, that will also be amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay. We want to say thank you so much for tuning in. And then again, our baby here will conclude it. Thank you. Yes, as I said, thank you for joining <laughs> us. Make sure you join us for episode three, okay? okay. Bad and Bougie, a podcast with uh. myself and Talani Baj. <laughs>